A lot has happened since I checked in with you all. So you're trying to get the tire off the rim, or what's going on? Uh, we're just playing ring around a roadie. <laughs> <laughs> so you're putting you're you're putting the new tire on, or are you taking the old tire off? No, this this new. That's the new one. I'm trying not to puncture a hole in the inner tube. Cause it's brand new. Cause I don't want to have to do this again. And you don't want to buy Nathan a new tire either. No, you wouldn't have to do that. You just bought those tires today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, paid a pretty penny for them. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, you don't want to get a hole in that. So let's go look at the bike. Uh, I've right. missed some. I've missed some action here. I had to charge we the are phone up. At a crossroads here. Yeah. Yeah. Not wanting to do anything, so I think we have to smash down on it over here. So, All right. So here is the bike missing the back wheel. Um, oh, so you haven't even done it. Oh, yeah, look at that cracked. Oh, man, that tire is really cracked looking. So the, I know that's the old tire. See how this is deep? Yeah. When you push it down, it moves this forward that way so it gets us where we get it on. You going to do it with the truck? Okay. Do I remove this? No, I'll leave that on. So you're just going to take care of this tire and then finish it up another time? Yeah, that'd be a pretty good day anyway. As much work as it's taken to get this part. Excuse me. Well, your bike's in good hands. We're going <laughs> to leave it here. Um, you can probably take it home. But yeah, sure. <laughs> as soon as I get the, uh, Yeah, I think we're just going to put the rear tire back on and I'll take it back. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. What's, what's he doing? So then you would just put on put the uh, front tire on a different day? I might take it somewhere because I know Steve's about to go back to work and everything. Oh, my hair! You mean you didn't know you had wild, crazy hair? Yeah, it is wild. Wild, wild and crazy. Yeah, my hair is all wild. Born to be wild. What are you? What are you doing? Are you getting what run over? What am I doing? Oh my goodness! Well, I'm doing something. Oh my! Oh my! Oh, what are you doing? You're doing? I don't know what you're doing. What? Why are you running over it? I don't like it no more. <laughs> Why are you running over that tire? I told you I don't like it no more. I've had enough. <laughs> this ain't working. It didn't work. But what were you supposed to do? That's awfully hard on a tire to run over it. What? I don't. I failed to understand. Tires what, are made to run over. I didn't know that. I failed to understand uh, what that was all about. You'll be all right. Well, I mean, maybe our audience wants to know. Oh, well, I'm uh, having a hard time to get it to go any further, so I was hoping that the truck would help me but I don't know what the deal is with the truck it doesn't want to help uh, you can hold that and I'm gonna get another bar and we need to pull this up so we don't get that tube in here Ooh, just smack myself in the mouth okay there you go I'll get something to work on that So AJ's in there binging on all that candy. Uh, I walked in there and he had a mouthful of candy from the <laughs> trick or treat thing. Well, that's pretty normal for a kid. <laughs> I, just, yeah, I just told a story about my kidneys. Yeah.
hold that one. Let me have that one. Hold that one. See? There's proof right there. Look at that. He brought. He even brought candy out here. Why are you out here with no shoes on? Why are you out here with no shoes on? Oh, let proof me have of what? That you're eating candy. Let me have it. Let me have one. No. Let me have one. You're on a diet. Oh, look, AJ. The kitties are gone to meet each other. Joy's coming from a long way away. Look at that. There's Joy, and we actually have a cat named October. And this is the month of October, and its name is October. Aww. I also have slime, too. Look at that. I also have slime, too. Oh, Joy, where did you go? He came from over there. Ah! Uh, so we have two black cats, uh, Nathan. Are we going to get like this? I think we made a wolf on this. So he came running, and look, October went to meet him. So, uh, where's your collar? Uh, what, did, he, your collar? did he lose his collar? And where's your collar? He's been fighting, that's why he don't have a collar. Oh, maybe he lost his collar. Sometimes I can't see it, so maybe he does. Tube, I can't see it. Good. I heard you. AJ, you shouldn't be out here with no shoes on. No tube. Okay. It's too a little wide. So tell me about your mom's squash casserole, Nathan. Really good? It's good. It's buttery. She put some Ritz crackers in it, some cheese. Yeah. Nice. So you're going to have uh, your mom's, is that her own recipe, her homemade recipe? Mm -hmm. no. So Nathan's going to enjoy his mom's right, squash casserole get... tonight for dinner. I'm a little stuck here. You take a break. Can we run down this side or run over this side? Does that help? Uh, I don't see how. Okay. Uh, it seems like to me if we ran down anything, it would be... This is October, and his name. Uh, this is the month of October, and our cat's name is October. So October, this is your month. Just like, just like AJ, your name is August. Don't be leaking my real name. Your name is August, and the cat's name is October. This is August and October. Don't be leaking my. Real well, name, too please. bad. Everybody knows your name is August. August and October. August, October. Put the cat down, AJ. It's on the rim a little bit. Turn it a little bit. Yeah, go now. Turn it a little bit more. Like that? Do you think we could turn it on the other side and maybe... It has to, see how it's going down right there? Now is the time to get it on. Now, now let's get it on there. Okay. Let's make sure that tube ain't in the way.
What are you doing? Cleaning off some of this rust and corrosion off this bolt so it'll slide in a little easier. Had to beat on it to get it out. So maybe clean it up and help it slide in a little easier. So it's a rusty bolt, huh? Yep, you know Rusty Bolt. Oh, true story. Listen to this, Nathan. My maiden, my maiden name is B O L D T. Okay, like like a bolt with a D in it. Um, so B O L D T is my maiden name, and I have one brother, and his name is Peter. And um, when my mom was pregnant, um, of course she didn't know she was having a boy back in the 1970s. My brother was born in '75. Um, they didn't know in advance if, I mean, you couldn't tell a sex, I mean, you couldn't tell until a child was born what child they were, a male or female. And, um, so anyway, they said if my mom had a boy that she should name him Rusty. Uh, now you have an uncle named Rusty, don't you? My dad's name is Rusty. Um, he went by Rusty. He went by Rusty. His name's Russell, but he went by Rusty. Well, anyway, uh, so my brother, his name ended up being Peter. But because of my maiden name, B-O-L-D-T, um, everybody told my mom that she should name her son, if she had a boy, name him Rusty. Because Rusty Bolt. Rusty Bolt. Because of Rusty Bolt. Yeah. The, can you imagine going through life and your name being Rusty Bolt? <laughs> <laughs> a good name for a mechanic. Yeah, there you go. But my brother, <laughs> my brother didn't wasn't a mechanic. But that would be a good name for a mechanic. You could call it Rusty Bolt that? Shop. But yeah, so your dad's name is Russell, and he just always went by Rusty. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. There, it slides in there a little easier. But I mean, it is kind of funny, Rusty Bolt. Um, if that was his name, that would be funny. But he became Peter. It's coming through. Yeah, back in the back in the nineteen seventies when my siblings and I were born, you had to wait you had to wait until that child was born to determine if they were a boy or a girl. They didn't have all this gender reveal stuff. Gender what? Gender reveal. So uh Stephen, did I ever tell you that if I if I were a boy, my name would have been Philip? Did I ever tell you that? See, back in the day, you had to pick out a girl's name and a boy's name because you had to be prepared. Are you going to have a boy? Are you going to have a girl? You had to be ready. Uh, and so, if I had been a boy, I would have been Philip. Do you know what your girl name would have been, Stephen? Stephanie. Oh, oh, you do know that? <laughs> Oh, you just made that up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm getting me, though. Let's see. Where do we need to go? Right about there. Look good to you. If you say so. This has to slide on here, see? Mm hmm So you're going to be the muscle guy getting it back up there, muscle guy. All right. Muscle, muscle man. Uh, two of us to see you. You put in more muscle than anybody. I want to be a muscle man. All right, so where'd that shaft part come out? Oh, it's still up there. Okay. Think we should grease that up while we're here? Sure. Sound like a plan. <clears throat> All right, so you're going to, after he gets the back tire on, you're going to take the bike home for the night? Yeah, I think so. Steven, you'll have to take that other tire home uh, for him. He's got the other tire in the back of the truck. So the real question is, Mr. Nathan, how much of this can, um, did you remember for the test? Um, <laughs> are you, how much are you going to remember uh, the next time you have to, to do this yourself? <laughs> a good deal, if I'm being honest. Oh, good. It's a pain in the butt. He always wanted a bike, so I'm sure he's taking it all in. Well, good. Being a great big sponge. I know how to, I know how to do it now. 
You take the rim off the tire. You to see the struggles and everything. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Is it always that difficult? It was. I don't do tires, so mm. it's difficult for me. Yeah. Well, you, I, I, I've seen you do the big, big rig tires many times. Big rig tires a lot easier than doing motorcycle tires. Really? There you go. Let's get this up here. Now, say that again loud and clear. Um, go ahead. A, a big rig tire is easier than a motorcycle tire. Um, Did I hear that correctly? That's what I said. What's the holding button? Something's off. You could probably let go of it for now. Help me to understand how a bigger tire. I need to get something to beat that in there. Help me to understand how a semi truck tire is easier than a motorcycle tire. I have all big tools. Oh, it, okay. So it comes down. Okay, so you have the tools. You have the tools for a big truck. Okay. So if you had the tools for this, it would be just as easy, right? Well, I have the tools for this too. I just I'm not used to working on stuff like this anymore. Used to be, but back when I worked on them, they didn't have these kind of motorcycles. Why is this thing tilted forward? Now? What? Over here, it's not lined up. Or this part is like too far down. What's well, not lined up? Uh, I don't know. Whatever this bar is right here. Oh, bar is not lined up. You see? Let's see. Yeah, that's because this can move. See? Oh, okay. So. Uh. You'll have to beat that bar because we moved it when we were supposed to. What is that bar? Or you can loosen it up. One of the two. Might want to loosen it up so you can move it. Looks like a 14 or... No, it's probably a 12. 12 is the most common one on this bike so far. Oh, I'm missing a spacer. So this spacer goes somewhere on the uh, axle. Where does it go? Here or around? I hope it doesn't go on this side. If it does, we gotta take it completely back off. Oh no. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, Nate, I need your help. Okay. See the spacer? Yeah. It goes right there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bolt and beat that axle back through, okay. and then we're gonna slide that in. So when I beat it, the tire is going to want to fall this way. Uh, hammer. Driver. Here we go. Here, just wait a second. Get some clearance here. Alright, you got your 12? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 12 the right size? Huh? Yay, yeah, Nate? Yeah, I think it's the right size. Look at that fancy brand new tire on there. Too bad the rim isn't good enough for you to just leave it on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it to somebody, I'm not going to do it myself.
What? If I'm gonna get a new wheel, I'll just take it to a tire shop or something. Someone that has like a don't they, don't they have like a thing that like pops the tire off? Sure, the bike shops do. Yeah. They don't do it the old fashioned way like we did. <laughs> Where you gotta use old fashioned manpower. Yeah, you're gonna have to find you a wheel. Okay. So I don't know how long that's gonna last. You're talking about the the not the tire, but the wheel. No, he's got some broken spokes. Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh. He does. Oh, is that is that like a wrecking hazard? Um, it's a safety issue. Oh wow. And the wheel's going to be wobbling. In fact, let's look at it. See how straight it is. Stand behind it. Is it wobbly? Is it going like this? A little bit. Not too bad? No, I don't think so. Okay. There's a spot in the tire that's kind of inside a little bit more or thinner. Is that right? It hasn't broke out yet? It'll do that whenever it rides, won't it? Yeah, it's, okay. it's, I can see it right there. It's still okay. stuck in. I put a 50 pounds in, but it didn't fall. It doesn't seem to be wobbling too much. Maybe just a little bit. Hopefully that'll pop out. If I have to, put 100 pounds in there, it'll blow out. One, one way or another. I figure riding it will... Maybe. Might just have to jack it up some more air. That's what I did. I put 50 pounds in. I thought it was going to pop out, but it didn't. Uh, did you get your bar on over there? What is that bar? That is to hold your brakes in one spot. Oh. I don't, I don't see how it can reach. You have to move your drum. How so? Here, let me show you. Well, you got to loosen that up. That's what you needed a 12 for. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, my. Look at that. <gasps> Is that supposed to do that? No, well, there's a missing bolt right there. Oh, no. <laughs> Ruthie. <gasps> well, you can't drive that home with that like <gasps> that. <laughs> It'll go to the street. Down. Nathan's already had it up to 200 mile an hour. What? <laughs> I think that's a... Did you really? Yeah. yeah hyperbole. No, no. Yeah, I did. Yesterday. Oh, you really had it up to 200? First day I rode it. Yeah. No, we're just playing with you. You should have seen him. He took off down the driveway, wouldn't let go of the throttle, and it just started flying down the road. I know you're speaking in terms of hyperbole. You must be. What's the, what's the most you've ever, what's the highest speed you've done on your motorcycle? Uh, not very fast. I'm a real safe rider. I don't go very fast. Just, uh, just for your information. Uh, put, to pause that for a second, Ruthie. All right, so it's quitting time for tonight, but after church tomorrow, y'all going to resume. That's right, I forgot about them carburetors, some crappy carburetors. What? Hold on to your bike. Wait a minute. Well, tell you what, if we're going to be coming back tomorrow morning, or, you know, tomorrow afternoon, would it be easier just to leave it here? Yep. Leave it here? Yep, okay. it sure would be. There's no sense in you taking it home. Yeah, there's no point in it. Let's look at it without Bob. See what it looks like being Bob. Bob. I, I like it, Bob. <laughs> I do. I do too. Do you think? I don't need the passenger backrest necessarily, but can we put the passenger? We can cut it off. Like I said, we have to, we have to leave, leave enough to mount that that stuff on there. Mm -hmm. So we have to.
think we can take the front fender off the target? Yeah. That would look good. You want to take the front fender off? So, anyway, we're going to have to... See, we've got to have enough to mount this hmm. to at least... Uh, so, we're going to have to cut it from right about here. Okay. Oh, you're going to... open that hole back up. Oh, you're going to... And we can put that seat back on there. And it will blend a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. Well, we can try it. See how you feel about it. I like it. I like the idea. The I like bob bobbers. Yeah. I think it'll look better than that big old bent up fender. Yeah, definitely. Wow. So you're going to get into like remaking the bike all together? We're going to bob it. Oh, I have See, the to the fender comes that. down to here. And the fender's bent, bent. See how it's all bent up? Oh. We can bob it so it looks like those two bikes. Oh, yeah, I see what and you mean. And that bike over there, see how they're Oh, bobbed? yeah, I see the, the bobbed look. I see. Yeah. Okay, so Nathan, you're okay with that? Yeah, yeah. The bobbed look. So, you don't like the long, clunky fender then? Okay, so you're going to do some fabricating tomorrow then, huh? Is that what you call it, fabricating? Uh, I guess if that's what you want to call it. What do I do with it? All right, so it's quitting time for the night, and you're leaving the bike here to work on Just tomorrow. Just throwing that pile right there. Oh, oh, the wrenches? Yeah. Okay. I was going to put the everything back where it's I'm going to put them in a bag, and it's better to have them out since we're using them. Okay. Want some soap on your hands and water? Yeah, he probably needs to get cleaned up. You're going to go home and have some squash, some squash casserole. You want to get your hands cleaned up. His mother made some nice squash casserole. This is how real men clean their hands. Oh, you got a tattoo! Yeah, I have a sleeve. Oh, let me, may I see it? Do you mind showing it off to our YouTube viewers? Look, Steven's got tattoos. What? What is your? What is? Steven's that? are a bit more classical than mine. <laughs> yeah, classical. Actually, you mean old? Yeah, I got them thing. <laughs> how? What's thirteen from sixty-two? Uh, well, 62 minus 12 is 50, so 49 years ago. Them, them tattoos are 49 years old. Mm. So you had that since you were 13? Yeah. Oh. Well, some of them were covered. Let's see your sleeve. Here, I'll have to take it out. We met somebody the other day who had an old tr logging truck on his arm. That's pretty cool. It's like a Diamond Rio logging truck on his arm. It's a really colorful sleeve. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is colorful. Oh, when did you have that done? Years ago. I was pretty fast and loose with it. Fast and loose? I don't know. Oh, careful. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, wow. What's They're all based on dreams I had. Oh. Uh, this is a spacey dream. Oh, is that the only one you have? Is that the only one you have? Yeah, uh, I have a tattoo on my calf. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, his arm more colorful. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, you look good. We'll go take the Cadillac. Oh, he had to see if there was dirt on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you'll come back tomorrow after church then. Yeah, sounds, yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good. Well, thank you for letting me film you, Nathan. Yeah, no problem. All right, Stephen, it's a wrap for tonight then. I've uh, got some good working with the bike then. Yep. You're a big belly, and I'm Bumbles. Together we are... Big Belly Bumbles! <laughs>